Evening, Mary. Evening, Mike. Up your street then, Claude. Why are you in Dude, there? more like an insurrection. I think they want Lord Ash. Landowner. Ash Thanks. Uh, when the tidies set out this morning, uh, did they ask for a packed lunch and something to drink? No. What about yesterday? No. He's got a point, Mike. Oh, come on, I was just trying to help him out. I wasn't talking about him. And I'm part of the scenery. Coming up. Hey, Gina. Give over, will ya? I don't want to argue about it with you. I don't know if I get it. <clears throat> I'm not going to forget. I'm listening. And you're under arrest. Evening, Hello, Trevor. What are you doing here? Old building scene, shall we? Uh, uh, hang on a minute. Uh, uh, have you found me a new wife? Maggie asked me, as a favour. I love you. Of course I do, I think. You think? Yes, but I don't see... There's another fire! Look! Over there! Stand back! Come on, move! Move! No, he's coming to get... Leo! Leo! Oh, it's somebody, you somebody Nick for doping. Now we've had a tip off that a criminal gang wants to employ him for his specialist skills. Now go home, get some rest, and get back here at 8 pm. Maybe a long night. I beg your pardon. Well, ashes in the bin. I've not had a fire for over a week, and that's a long time for the embers to stay hot enough to start a fire. Wouldn't you agree, Bellamy? Yes, Sarge. So you think it was started deliberately then, Oscar? why we have to sell the house. Well, how else can I buy the wood I need? Uh, borrow it. Well, well, you can't borrow wood. Please lend me half a tonne of teak so I can build a boat. Of course, I'll let you have it back. He says... He says... Maggie, I'm sorry. I, I just wouldn't have the nerve. But, but you, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. The way you can cry just like that. Amazing. Yeah. Good evening, ladies. Must have been some dinner party. Sorry? I'm only just leaving. Oh, I had a flat tyre. I had to leave the car. His uh, lordship give you a lift, did he? One of the other guests did. Very nice chap, actually. Oh. Matt, are you sure it was the same two men you saw at Ashwardley Hall? I wonder what they want with Dr. Rahl. Bet you that new sergeant's feeling pretty pleased with Ricky himself. Ricky was jealous of him. Of Ricky. Talk about come dancing. Come on, Ricky. Some fathers, I mean, it happens. Don't talk daft. It's not fair to gossip. Same again. Hello? Maggie and Mike, did you say? <sighs> I've got work to do still and um
Haydensfield Police. You stay close to Lucas. I'll follow Purvis. Normal colleague, that's all I know. Oh, come on, Jen. Well, ask them. Oh, have you caught anyone yet? Oh, give us a chance. <sighs> oh, thanks, Gina. Come on, Phil, you better go. Oh, she sees it. Just because he's got a flash car. Oh, I thought it was over between you two ages ago. Yeah, well. Hey, look, uh, see you tomorrow, mate. Get back, it's fine! All of you, get back! Just my arm. Just took my arm. Shot came from somewhere over there. I've got to go take a look. Be very careful, Mike. Don't give him another target. And wait for backup. Can you believe it? The guy has the nerve to come back to the same place the next night. It's a 7.62. Mike, I was relieved when she insisted on going out. Well, things haven't been easy then. It turns out she's known about James and me all along. Has she? But she's okay with it. Apparently, I was a. You know, Liz, in most murder cases, the first person the police suspect is the spouse, and most of the time it turns out to be right. But how could Helen shoot him? She was in London. Well, how isn't the issue? But if she knew of the affair and was angry and jealous and thought he was going to leave. Well, that's certainly a reason why. Of course. Hello. Your pen, I think. It was a 21st present. I would have panicked. I've just made a coffee. Would you like one? Well, yeah, yeah. Um, that'd be lovely. Come in. Make yourself a home. Thanks. Oh, nice house. Thank you. Oh, I was, uh, I was passing. Really? No. Milk and sugar? Uh, a black, no sugar, thanks. So, you weren't passing? No, I, I took the opportunity. I see. So, did you manage to talk to Lord Ashford? No, he's a, he's a stubborn man, the lad. And stupid to think the problem will just go away. When you're going to make sure it doesn't. Not me, Constable. The people. Mm -hmm.